What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, uh, I, I touched on this briefly and vaguely on YouTube a couple of days ago. I talked more in depth about this on my Patreon. Um, thank all of you who are signed up to the Patreon. Almost 200 of you now. Um, for those of you who may be interested in the Patreon, it's a platform where uh, content creators can talk about virtually anything. Uh, very little censorship over there. And um, you can talk about anything. It's a lot of content already up there. I lost track of how many videos. Um, I would assume maybe 500 to 600 videos now already up there on the Patreon. I need to go back and actually count how many I uploaded now. Um, and I take requests, so. If you're interested in that, uh, please sign up. Uh, but enough self-promotion. I want to talk about this vaguely, okay? Because this is YouTube. We all know what happened in Buffalo. And unfortunately, a lot of us know that this tragedy would be politicized uh, for... Uh, strategic reasons, all right? Um, <clears throat> we often see it on both sides, okay? The Democrats are guilty of doing that as well. Uh, but it especially stings when it comes to Republicans because the argument that they're framing is BS, right? You know, I was looking at Fox News, but somebody actually sent it to me. And Leo Terrell, who has done a complete 180 when it comes to the Republican Party, he used to be uh, vehemently against the, Democrat, against the Republican Party. Now he's Trump's number one fan. What gets me is he, he, he tries to equate this tragedy to the failure of democratic cities and even though it's not explicitly stated the failure of black people it is somehow it's our fault that this occurred which to me makes no sense whatsoever like what are you talking about first of all this happened in upstate new york okay buffalo erie county whatever but that vicinity near canada now look, the front, this is what they do. When people think of New York, they think of a heavily democratic, bureaucratic state. But see, this is the thing that gets confused. See, when people think of New York, they think of New York City. New York City has, what, 8 million people living in there? Maybe 7 million now. Uh, heavily democratic. Like, New York City is probably 75, 80% democratic. Long Island is sort of conservative, more conservative, but the city, 75, 80% Democrat. New York City is why the state and presidential elections go so heavily Democratic. There's 8 million registered, there's probably, well, 6.5 million registered voters in New York City. 75% of them are Democratic. That's why the state always goes 60-40 Democratic in the presidential election. But upstate New York is a lot more Republican. A lot more Republican. A lot more conservative. There are conservative pockets in New York. Like I said, uh, most of them tend to be upstate. Hence, where this kid comes from. Okay? Um, so I don't get this angle. What, what are you talking about? What does this have to do with failed democratic leadership? And why are they politicizing this? It's, and, and then, you know, it's always the same thing when it's a particular shooter. They, they, they make it about mental illness. Now the excuse is, well, the, it is the, you know, the pandemic is at fault. And he, you know, he, he was bored and, you know, he got hooked up a lot of things and, and brainwash him, and he just had mental health health issues. 
I'm just so sick of that shit, man. I'm so sick of it. How many times have we seen police officers arrive at the scene of a disturbance and the family is pleading with police officers? I'm talking about black people. Please. I know he's acting out of character, out of sorts. But he has a mental health issue. And he hasn't taken this medication. We just want him to please just de-escalate the situation. But don't please don't shoot my son. And they completely ignore their pleas because they're itching to kill a nigga. And <clears throat> they shoot him anyway. There's no mental health advocacy groups raising hell. You know, there's no uh, local uh, charter groups for mental health, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, demanding the resignation of this police officer or an investigation. It's just one less dead, one more, excuse me, dead black uh, male, a statistic. Nobody cares. Unfortunately, even a lot of us don't care. But every time one of these situations happen, South Carolina, nine parishioners blown away. This situation, 10 lives lost heinously. Every time these things occur, they want you to feel sorry for the person who committed these demonic crimes. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I just don't get it. I don't get it, man. You know? But, um... This is the type of... This, this type of situation is why... We specifically, and I say we, I'm talking about black people, we need specific hate crime laws passed to protect us. Because I'm, I'm, I'm having a real hard time here understanding why there's a debate as to whether this was a hate crime. This is, this is insulting. This is ridiculous. And it's this type of shit. And, and look. I'm blaming both sides of this shit because on the one hand, this little piece of sh this little piece of shit, right, was indoctrinated by the same people who overwhelmingly voted for the last GOP candidate. And many of them have the same ideology. But on the other hand, we are and have been the biggest supporters of the Democratic Party. And when something like this happens, all we get is a bunch of fake tears and we need to pray on this and this was a tragedy and you know we, we you know we need to come together and all this BS and nothing gets done legislation wise. Nothing gets done as far as to help prevent this type of shit. They don't go rah, 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 a boss to the walls trying to do something to help mitigate shit, uh, mitigate our uh, situation when it comes to, you know, look, there's a reason why you're seeing a huge uptick of black people finally becoming fed up, realizing that the police are not here to protect us. And they're going out in the gun ranges, becoming experts at using firearms and getting registered weapons to protect ourselves. We can't rely on the government. We can't rely on the police, not in our community, to protect us. We've got to do it ourselves. So at the end of the day, fuck the excuses for them when it comes to this animal that did this. And fuck both parties. 